10 things you need to know about Windows 8.1. Yeah, you do need to know. Windows 8.1 is very different from Windows 7, but changes are a good thing, I hope. Windows 8.1 has seen quite a few changes since Windows 8, and you will have new things to learn no matter what version of Windows you are upgrading to. So number 10, desktop options aren't enabled by default. Now Microsoft made a sufficient effort to make Windows 8.1 less artwork for us users. But the only difference you would see by default is that the start button is back. If you want to boot to the desktop and prevent the app switcher and charm from appearing when you move your mouse to the top corners of your screen, you will need to configure these options yourself. To do so, right click your taskbar, select properties and change the options on the navigation tab. Now number nine, you can shut down in two clicks. Press Windows key plus the X or right click the start button to open the power user menu. This menu contains shortcuts with quick access to commonly used options like the control panel, task manager, and file explorer. On Windows 8.1, you can now shut down from this menu. It takes just as many clicks as it did on Windows 7, but uh, I think Microsoft made it a little bit complicated to use it. Number eight, default file associations are still frustrating. Windows 8.1's file associations are still horrible for desktop users. When you open an image from the desktop, you'll be whisked away to a full screen modern interface with your taskbar and your entire desktop hidden. It would make sense for each environment to have its own a file association. But Microsoft haven't, hasn't really done this as yet. If you use the desktop, you would need to head into the default programs control panel and change the default file association for images, PDFs, music, and video files. Number seven, Bing integration can be disabled. Now, Microsoft's search engine called Bing is integrated in Windows 8.1, allowing you to easily search with Bing from the system's search feature. To accomplish this, when you start typing on your computer, you'll be sent to Bing's servers. If you'd rather not have the searches you type sent to Bing, you can easily disable Bing's integration from the searching within the PC settings. Number six, now tiles aren't created by default. I know, Windows 8 automatically created tiles on your start screen when you installed a Windows 8 app or a desktop program. Now with Windows 8.1, no longer does this allowing you full control of your start screen layout to add tiles for nearly any installed program. You click the arrow button or swipe up on the start screen, right click or long press an application shortcut and select pin to start to create a tile for it. Number five, SkyDrive only syncs files in the SkyDrive folder. Now Windows 8.1's SkyDrive in integration will only synchronize files and folders in your SkyDrive folder. You can't synchronize folders outside of this folder and the old symbolic link trick won't work either. SkyDrive will only sync the photos in your camera roll folder but it won't sync other images in your picture folder. Number four, libraries are hidden by default. I really don't know why. Uh, so libraries are now hidden by default, even though they're still used heavily by the modern apps. Such modern apps are basically image applications which have access to your, you know, your photos and your pictures library, and video players have access to your video library. Uh, to make libraries visible again is real easy. Just right click on the left pane of your file browser and select show libraries. Pretty simple, right? Number three. Internet Explorer has two interfaces. I don't know why. Uh, Internet Explorer still offers two interfaces, which are the Windows 8 style one and the desktop application. When you launch the Internet Explorer tile from the start screen, you will see the Windows 8 style Internet Explorer. If you rather use the desktop version of the Internet Explorer, when you click the Internet Explorer tile, open IE on the desktop, 
Click the gear menu and select Internet Options and click the Programs tab and set Internet Explorer to open always in the Internet Explorer on the desktop. If the Internet Explorer isn't your default browser, it will always open on the desktop and you'll be able to change this setting anytime. Now number two, Snap is improved. Now, Snap is an extremely important part of using Windows 8 apps. As it allows you to use multiple apps at a time, it feels fairly limited on a laptop or desktop, but it's refreshing and powerful on a tablet. To snap an app, swipe it from the left on your screen and position the app's towel at the left or right side of the screen. It will snap alongside the current app. With a mouse, move your mouse to the top left corner of the screen and drag and drop the app's towel onto the, your screen where you want it. Uh, you can now resize the apps to use as much space as you like or even view three or more apps on the screen at once, depending on the screen resolution. And my number one on my list, administrative tools are hidden by default. Yes, IT guys, it is hidden. Don't know why, but it's crazy. Now, the system tools found in the Windows administrative tools folder are normally hidden. These tools include the task scheduler, event viewer, services and computer management tools that won't appear in all your apps list and you won't be able to find them by searching your installed applications either. If you need them, head to the start screen, press Windows key plus C, select settings, select tiles, and enable show administration tools option on the tiles pane. They show up in all apps and appear when you search for them by name. Well, that's it guys. Those are my 10 things you need to know about Windows 8.1. Yes, there are so many that you need to know Windows 8.1, but these are the top 10 that I think that stand out the most for what I've been using Windows 8.1, especially at the job site. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed my top 10. I want to know what is your top two things that you need to know. What are the top two things you would like people to know uh, about Windows 8? Uh, what are your comments? What is your feedback? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Leave your comments right below. Don't forget, don't forget about hitting that like button before you go, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.